the pigs out of the pig races got loose out of their pens and they were people all over the fairgrounds were chasing them. I was actually born on a farm in Texas County. We raised uh, beef cattle, so that's my beginning in agriculture. Kind of away from it for a long time while I was in college and uh, spent a part of my adult life in, in construction and uh, having the opportunity to come back to the State Fair and be involved in agriculture on this scale uh, has, uh, is a passion of mine at this point and uh, nothing quite like getting the opportunity to work with kids and the youth that we are involved with on a daily basis out here with 4-H and FFA. Uh, you know, I, I get asked a lot, what's, what's my favorite part of the fair? Um, so fondest memories, you know, could be a group, but I, I think one of the, the neatest things I've ever seen out here, and I, because I work at the fair, it's very difficult sometimes to get to go see the fair. And um, so every chance I get, I take the opportunity to go out and try to watch these kids exhibit because there is nothing more gratifying than sitting there in the stands over at the, you know, at the sheep event and watching a, you know, an eight-year-old little girl, you know, in her cowboy boots and her skirt out there pulling that sheep around and whether she wins or loses, she's got a smile on her face that won't quit. You know, that, that opportunity to be at the state fair and show off her hard work and show off that animal that she's worked hard with uh, is probably by far the most gratifying thing about working at her. Well, you know, it, it's important to us here at the fairgrounds, our staff, I think the entire Department of Agriculture, uh, to support these youth, and, that's, and the main reason is because we want, um, I mean, these kids are the future of, of agriculture in our state. And, uh, you know, they're not just in agriculture, you know, they're the future directors of ag like Richard Fordyce and, uh, you know, future governors and people like that. I mean, these kids get some of the earliest training towards being productive, efficient adults through 4-H and FFH you can get anywhere. And I always talk about the blue jackets and the kids in FFA, but, you know, you take the opportunity to stop and talk to one of them. They can look you in the eye, tell you the story of agriculture, never blink never voice, never quaver, and they could, you know, we're talking about 16, 15, 16, 17 year old kids. Well, I think, I wish consumers knew more about where their food comes from. Uh, you know, we, we really see that trend over time where, <clears throat> You know, folks in the in the more uh, urban areas start to lose that. They, you know, we have a lot of youth coming on now that think that this stuff just comes from the grocery store. They don't really have a good understanding of where their food actually comes from and the way that's produced here in Missouri. So, certainly, when you come to the state fair, if you're not involved in agriculture, you're probably going to have the opportunity to see some animals that. Maybe, especially if you're from a more urban area, maybe you've never seen in person, up close. Uh, I, I think that in, in itself is a great edu educational program for, for young people. So I think throughout the 396 acre complex out here, there's opportunities down every street and around every corner when you come to the state fair to observe something that has to do with agriculture or a program where you can be involved and learn something with a, in a hands-on experience that'll, that'll teach you more about how agriculture uh, works in our state. You know, uh, I've seen some, some pretty crazy things happen during the fair, you know. Uh, I, I, there was a story actually predates me being here where uh, the pigs out of the pig races got loose out of their pens and they, people all over the fairgrounds were chasing them. So there's always something going on. I mean, you, you know, it, in, it basically for 11 days, it's 24 hours a day. There's something going on out here even through the night all the time. And, but ultimately, the fair is the showcase at the end of the summer, the largest showcase for agriculture in the state every year. 